بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay the next thing we'll try to understand the difference between two different modes of wireless implementations now any of your wireless networks can be implemented in two different modes like wireless lans either in a ad hoc mode or infrastructure mode now the basic difference is simple in the ad hoc mode we don't use any access point so in simple you are going to connect your devices directly like i'm having two laptops and i'm connecting them directly via the wifi or the wireless network without using a centralized device just like you are connecting a cross cable between the two computers you can consider that but whereas in infrastructure mode we'll be using an access point so which means we are going to connect all the devices through a centralized device called an access point uh, more applicable especially when your network is bigger so let's try to see a little bit more details on the differences between them like ad hoc mode ad hoc doesn't require the access point so in the ad hoc mode or p2p mode or even it is also called as independent basic service set i'll talk about that set uh, service set probably in our next topics now here we are going to provide the connectivity between the devices without using any access point so we can provide connectivity between any two computers or it can be four it can be i think support up to four to eight number of devices now this is more applicable where you have two users let's say i have two users uh, maybe basically laptops and they need to exchange some kind of documents between them or you can take an example like you have a laptop and it is connecting to a printer and you want to connect this your laptop to the printer and you don't want to install or set up a dedicated access point to provide that connectivity or you can say if you are moving uh, to a different place and you are trying to share some files with your friend or colleague and you want some kind of immediate or urgent uh, sharing of the files in that scenarios also you can do now typically bluetooth is one of the typical uh, ad hoc network where you connect your personal network personal devices via bluetooth that is also one kind of ad hoc mode installation and it's also called as computer to computer or we call so call it as p to p mode now the good thing is it is easy to set up because we don't need an access point so you can quickly set up in uh, small groups but again uh, for for kind of share, uh, file sharing but again the limitation as i said it is not going to be scalable so if you have uh, 10 to 15 devices or if you have a fixed network setup uh, probably you cannot go with a ad hoc mode in that kind of scenarios now one more thing we need to uh, remember you you may not be able to communicate with any infrastructure devices like take an example i'm i'm going to set up this is my ad hoc mode where i'm connecting and i want this particular devices to be able to communicate with my wide network or any other wireless network which is having set up so that communication may not be possible again unless you do some kind of bridging uh, because you can bridge this interface and this interface and you can still allow the communication but by default that's not possible so by default that ad hoc network will not be able to communicate with any other wide or wireless network unless you do some kind of bridging and other other options so that is again one kind of limitation we can say with this now coming back to the infrastructure mode now infrastructure mode is the one which we commonly use in any any your home network also we do have an access point like if you take a simple example we have our home network where i'm connecting my couple of laptops or notebooks or even you have some your some of your smartphones or your ipad devices so they all can get connected to one single centralized access point so you configure the access point and you make sure that it is ready and every time you are you are coming into your home or in your office your device will automatically detect and get connected to that particular network automatically where you don't need to set up each and every time so it's like one time setup now in that you have to you need to have an access point of course because you need to have a centralized device from where you can connect all your wireless devices so where you can where the laptops can send the packets in the access point so 
and the access point is going to send it back to the other devices. So the communication process probably goes through the access point because that is going to provide you the connectivity centralized. And most of the wireless networks, what we use, they will be using infrastructure mode, including your home network setup. That is also one kind of infrastructure mode. And again, access points can act as a bridge between your wide and the wireless network. Now, typically this access point is going to provide the connectivity to your wireless users. But again, at the same time, these wireless users can still access to the internet or access any dedicated servers on your wide network as well. So they are going to bridge the traffic between the wireless users as well as the wide users. Now again, this access point will have some kind of antennas. Now this antenna is going to radiate some kind of signals. So there will be some kind of coverage area. And as long as you are within that coverage area, you will be able to connect to that particular access point and you can be a part of the network. 